We're going to show you. Now, this is the first time this is the official U.S. statistical profile. It has been the U.S. statistical profile for months. Because a lot of this data we're about to show you, we have shown you on this show for months. But the problem is it wasn't stratified for you. So people like me or Daniel Horowitz or Jordan Schachtel and this other, you know, ragtag group of what's left of the colonial fleet after the Cylons destroyed the rest. All right. Trying to make our way to this place called Earth. We have had to piece this independently together, meaning the CDC puts this data out there whole cloth. But you, it, but it's not given any stratified meaning. So you guys have always asked me, well, Steve, what's your source on this? And I can't send you to a link because it's my own proprietary work with the CDC's actual data. For you to see it yourself would mean you'd have to recreate my work. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. Like I, I'm taking their data and then putting it in, in a form that makes sense to you. But I can't supply you a link because it's often our own work as independent researchers. In, in involved in that if you do not believe it or you just want to verify it then you have to go through that yes. process yourself yeah. yeah and which you are entitled to and you yes. can poke holes into it and then yeah. we can make each other better right but just whole cloth denying it and denying it because there's no link but that's that's going to take you hours of work yeah i know because that's what it takes me <laughs> okay it's going to take you hours and I, I do this professionally it takes me hours of work i couldn't imagine doing this like as an amateur sleuth and not even knowing where to begin all right so for the very first time ever we can now show you the official stratified. And what's the date today? August 11th. August 11th. March 11th is when the world really ended in this country with the mass shutdowns and everything else. That's when Anthony Fauci went and testified before Congress that, hey, this is 10 times worse than the flu, right? That was the day. I think the next day is when the NCAA tournament canceled and everything else. So it's August 11th, and for the first time, we can show you the real official stratified mortality data. We can even give you the link to the table there at the bottom of the video because 800 of you are going to email me. Steve, what's the link? What's the link so I can share it? It's right there, the bottom of the video. You can finally now, without having to do all the independent research and piecing it all together to make sense of what it means on, on your own, that's what I've had to do for the last few months and people like me, now finally, the government of these United States is going to do it for us. All right, here are the real COVID-19 facts the media doesn't want you to know. Right from our CDC, this is through August 1st, all right? All of their data, through August the 1st, 85 and older are just 3.2% of the U.S. population, but they make up one-third of all COVID-19 deaths. 75 and older are just 7% of the U.S. population, but they make up 59% of all U.S. COVID-19 deaths. 54 and younger are 74 or 70%, I'm sorry, 70% of all U.S. citizens are 54 and younger. And yet 54 and younger are just 8% of all COVID-19 deaths. Again, this is through August the 1st. Deaths don't even register a percentage on their metric until we reach age 15 to 24. And even then it's just 0.2% which means kids college through undergrad are in no significant danger of dying of COVID. Your college student right now, if they get COVID, they're an undergrad. 99 point, what is that? 98% percentage that they will recover if they get it? If they get it. If they get it. That's the percentage of recovery if you have a college adult, according to our CDC, through August 1st. And if they're younger than that, the odds go demonstrably higher. In fact, if you look at the table, I believe it only records, is it 45 deaths total or something like that for kids K through 12 in the entire country of COVID-19. That's why they've been outside, at home, all over the country all this year. Now, here is the key thing to keep in mind, though. Okay. Two, what are there's two things to keep in mind? Number one, the median age of COVID death right now in America is 78. 
that you if people keep sending me notes steve i'm trying to do <clears throat> the research you're doing and, and i'm looking at the excess deaths in cdc and i'm i'm seeing it's not that much higher than it is in 2017 or or 2016 i'm am i i must be reading this wrong because i'm i'm watching the news and there's and and it's all this bad news and yet when i look at the total excess deaths which by the way if you're researching and you're starting there you're smart that's the right place to begin to get a baseline you're right to do that that's you're smarter than the average bear. Props to you. But you're going to note that there's not a huge difference in these numbers. And so all a lot of you have been emailing me, Steve, I don't, how do, has, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm, I know what I'm seeing on the news. I know people have, that have gotten this. I, I know people that have died, but the total excess deaths in this country, what did we say, what did we say about a month ago? Texas was at only 2% higher excess deaths than it was at this time last year. Do you want to know why that is? Go back, put that back on the screen, Aaron, full screen. This number right here is why. <clears throat> the median age of COVID death in America right now is right around 78. It's like 77 point something. So it's right around 78. You know why that matters? Do you know what the average lifespan is in the United States right now? What average life expectancy in the U.S. is? 78. That's why you're not seeing massive amounts of more of excess death. Because even Neil Ferguson, when he screwed the world with his crackpot model at Imperial College that turned out to be false. Even in that model, you know what he said? That he estimated about 63% of all COVID deaths were going to be people that died within a year. Anyway, premorbidities, comorbidities, respiratory failure, cardiac failure, morbid obesity. Right? Remember yep. when he said that? Guess what? That turned out to be the only thing he was right about. The median age of COVID death in America is 78. That is the actual life expectancy in America right now. That is why you're not seeing massive amounts more of total excess death. Because COVID-19 is killing people, sadly. But it is, by and large, killing people that were probably going to be killed this year anyway. And that's why the total excess deaths have not skyrocketed. I can't stress that point enough when we start talking about getting back to being some form of normal as a country. And then this next point is another one I can't stretch enough. All of this COVID-19 mortality stratified data from CDC, keep in mind how they code it. It's all coded as death with COVID, not from COVID. We don't actually officially even know. Now, we can do all the research and give you a pretty good educated estimation. But we don't officially know who has what the numbers are of people that have died from COVID itself, meaning they weren't going to die until they contracted COVID. COVID. And that is the cause of their death. They, they didn't die in a car accident and test positive. They didn't jump off a building and test positive. They didn't already have diabetes and tested positive. They already didn't have stage four cancer and tested positive. They already didn't have respiratory failure and tested positive. Meaning they were otherwise healthy. No comorbidity had presented itself until they contracted COVID and then their body failed. We don't have those numbers. It's August 11th.